Hello. Hello and welcome to today's workout. Aaron here, I'm gonna take you through short, sharp, intense core workout that we're gonna do for the next four weeks. Uh, all you'll need is a mat and you'll need two kilo or one kilo dumbbells, nothing too heavy. Uh, and we're gonna work on the inner core, the transverse abdominis, okay? So that's the main section through here, as well as your obliques, which helps you rotate. So uh, grab a little bit of a drink or a water bottle, whatever you need to do, and uh, we're gonna get started on the core. So what I want you to do to start off with is your legs are gonna go straight from there, sit up nice and tall, and then roll down one vertebra at a time to the point where you feel your core exhale to the top, okay? Rolling down one vertebra at a time, exhale to the top. We're gonna do everything for roughly 30 seconds. And up we go, good. And down, core, and back up. You feel your lower back, I want you to stop and reset. And also just make sure that you're not going down too far, okay? Your hips may flare up here, that's okay. Good, as you get stronger, you're gonna move away from working through those hips. And exhale, up, good. And down, good, one more. Perfect. Okay, then we're gonna sit up again. As we go back, hold, open the arms, close the arms, and back up. Good, so you wanna draw your pelvic floor up as well. Okay, that's gonna activate your lower abdominals, protect your lower back. So we're gonna go down, exhale, inhale, and back in. Good, keep it tight. Whether you're doing this in the morning or night, I hope that you've planned your wig out and you're ready to go for the week. Good, and you've checked in with your partner as well this month, focusing on helping each other get towards our goals. Good, and one more. Good, okay, next time we're gonna do is we're gonna go overhead. So we're gonna go back, hold, arms over the head, down, and then forward. Good, back, arms over the head, and forward. Okay, so start to feel your core now. Again, if you feel your lower back, which is common in this move, shorten the range, okay? Or you can bend your knees as well. Good, exhale, inhale. Good, three more. And two to go. Nice work, mums. Last one. Okay. Now, just gonna shake it out a little bit. That's a bit of the warm up, and then we're gonna get right into this. So, let's do it. So, let's start from the top, legs up in the sky. Okay, tuck the chin in and squeeze. Off we go. Good, we're working through the middle of the core here. The core is just really important. Now, to lose body fat around the core, yes, core work does help, but obviously being in a calorie deficit is gonna help more. So today, track your food, my fitness pal. Good, and squeeze and breathe. Good job, guys. Keep going. Three, two, and one. Good. Okay, we're just gonna shuffle back a little bit. We're gonna chuck your hands this time underneath. Okay, your bum, legs are gonna go up, and let's just support the lower back and down. Good, tuck the chin in. Good, use your lower abdominals. Just make sure you watch your lower back that you're not going down too far. Okay, if it's too hard, you can do single leg. Okay, so one at a time. Good, as you get stronger, and if you've been with us for a long time, you can start to do the harder moves. Okay, you might wanna add an open and close to make it a little harder. Good, breathe. One more, good, and feet down. From there, we're gonna go into our glute bridge. Okay, working through the legs, but mainly I want you to focus on the core here. Core tight, brace, tilt up, squeeze. Lower down, good, and up. Squeeze core, and down. Think about articulating. Think about drawing your pelvic floor up. Okay, keeping that area tight. Your pelvic floor is different to your abs. Okay, pelvic floor should turn on first and then your abdominals. So a lot of people can't switch their pelvic floor and that's when you know, they get sore lower backs. Three more guys, let's go. Up, squeeze, 
down, excellent, nice, perfect, and down, okay, we're never going to do the same exercise twice, okay, we're going to do it once through, so I want you to do it with as much effort as you can. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to put our legs in tabletop, okay, from their heads down, okay, make sure your knees are in line with your hips, and then tap the right toe down, and alternate sides. Okay, if you've got tight hips, they're going to flare up here. So rest when you need, imprint your spine. So making sure that you press your core down, alternating sides, exhale as you tap the toe down. Think about using your core to draw that toe down on your lower back. Good, and squeeze, exhale. Like I said, it's going to be a blitz through the core here. Okay, so every time we do an exercise, build as hard as you can, have the right technique. Good. Now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go legs and tabletop, extend one leg out and back in. Alternate sides. Okay, press that core in again as tight as you can. Exhale. Inhale back in. The lower you go towards the ground, the harder it's going to be. Good job guys. Extend. Good. Reach. Nice work. Breathe. Imprint that spine, you feel your lower back stop and reset. One more to go. Good, and down. Now what I want you to do, arms out to the side, legs go in tabletop, and rotate to one side, use your core, bring it back to center, and alternate. Use your core, bring it back to center. Core, bring back to center. Each week as you do this, I want you to feel if your core is getting stronger. Are you resting less? Resting less, that rhymes. Good, try and pin your shoulder blades to the ground. Exhale to center, keep the shins up. Good, we're working through our obliques which helps you rotate as well as protect the lower back. Nearly there. One more. Perfect. You can grab a quick drink, guys, or you can stay with me. And we're just gonna go into child's pose, just stretching out through that lower back. And deep breath in. And exhale out. Deep breath in. And exhale out. Deep breath in and exhale out. Awesome. Well, I hope you got your drink. Now we're gonna get back into it. I'm gonna start with feet on the floor, hands behind your head, and a simple crunch. Crunch up, tuck the chin in, back down. Exhale, keep your elbows nice and wide. Good. Can't get old of the basics. Your good old crunches. Good, and squeeze. So imprint the spine. Okay, on the mat, keep that core tight. Eye gaze looking at the knees. If you do this correctly, you'll feel this. You're squeezing through the core, you're not just lifting up and down. Good job. Three more. Two to go. Now we're gonna go up and rotate, okay? So we go up, rotate, back down. Up, rotate, back down. So don't close your elbow, just turn your upper body back to center, back down. Okay, so you wanna use the obliques here as we go up and rotate. Good. Pelvic floor, tight, imprint the spine. Good job, guys. Okay, have a little bit of a rest. Next thing we're gonna do is gonna keep your feet on the floor. Then we're gonna lift our chest up and we're gonna to touch our ankles, okay? Tuck the chin, if you need to put one hand behind, you can, like so, okay? We're gonna try and tap our ankles. Okay, if one neck gets sore, okay, you can place your hand behind to support the neck. If not, you're going to push through and squeeze. Good, keep that chin tucked in. Squeeze. 
burning through the center here. Breathe. Good work. Contract, contract, and squeeze. Are you with me? Are you feeling this? Three, two, and one. Next thing is, we're gonna pop our legs into tabletop, hands behind your head. Extend the legs, head down. Lift chest, extend the legs, down. Good, feel that pain. Push through. And squeeze. Good job guys, three more. Good. Ah, deep breaths through the stomach. Ah, exhale out. One more, inhale. Exhale out. Good, that's a bit of a breather. Now we're gonna move on to our bicycles. Okay, off we go, bicycles. Rotate and extend the opposite leg. If you can do this quick or slow, I find slow to be a lot harder. Extend the leg all the way out, control, lift the chest up, squeeze. Good. And three, two, and one. Oh, I'm feeling it. I hope you're feeling it too. Let's turn over. Let's do the cobra and we'll just stretch that out. Okay, so hands down, draw your hips towards the ground and open that chest, shoulder blades down. Nice big deep breaths. One more inhale and exhale. Okay, we're gonna go into our planks. Let's go onto our elbows and toes, totally up to you. From there, we're gonna lift and hold. Tuck it in tight. Squeeze the glutes. Keep the hips up nice and high. Chest over elbows. Squeezing under your armpits. And breathe. Nice work, guys. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna drop to our knees. Okay, all fours. Then, left arm, right leg, draw elbow in, extend out. Elbow in, extend out. Okay, you see I am rounding my back as I come in, because I want to crunch through the core. In and out. In and out. So we're balancing through the core, and we're contracting through the core, as well as it's going to stabilize. So it's a great exercise. If you have bad backs in the past, this is a great one. Exhale as you come in. One more guys, let's go. Good, we're gonna change sides. Okay, left leg back, right leg, elbow in, extend out. Good work, and squeeze. And squeeze. Head down, hand that's on the ground, draw that shoulder blade down. Core on. Three more. And good job. Okay, now next time we're gonna do is we're gonna raise right leg, left arm. We're gonna hold. Breathe. Engage your core. If you want to make it harder, you can go onto your toes and balance. Okay, but if not, keep it on the knee, hold, squeeze, shoulder blade down. And breathe. Good guys, hold this. Head down, shoulders down. Three, two, and one. Swapping sides, leg back. Arm up, easy option or harder option, up to you. And breathe. Shoulder blades down tight, engage your core. Three, 
three, two, and one. Excellent stuff. Good work, guys. Okay, go and grab a quick drink if you need. All right, we're about 15 minutes in. We're nearly there. We're gonna do a couple more exercises and then we're done. Again, I want us to be short, sharp. You can do it once, twice, three times a week. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna place it in your diary for once, but you can do it more if you'd like. So, once you grab your drink, I would like you to come back. We are then gonna grab our dumbbells. Okay, so the very first exercise we did, that's what we're gonna do again. With the dumbbells, it's gonna make it a little bit harder. So we're gonna roll back, okay, holding up, and then back, up. Okay, shoulders are gonna burn here a little bit as well. Lock the core in tight, exhale. Tight, 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 and push. Tight, 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 and up. Good, commit to these guys and push. Shoulders are working, pull them back tight. If it's too much with the weights, drop it down. Good work. Oh yeah, feeling that, let's go. Up, push through guys, let's go. One more. Nice work, we're gonna do a roll up now. So give yourself some room, legs straight, arms go over the head, slowly controlled, weight up. Reach and slowly down. Arms over, arms up, core tight, no momentum, and down. Okay, this is quite a difficult exercise. You've got to really control here. Now the tendency will be to use momentum. We don't want to do that. Keep it nice and tight, pull the shoulder blades down. Keep yourself tight like a board, lock in, Squeeze the lats, good, and down, and pull, up, perfect, down, one more, up we go, perfect, nice work guys, okay, again, we're going to go into this position here, hold, open, and close, back up, down, open, and close, so your arms are working, oh, didn't think, work your arms as well, Again, drop the weight if it's too much. <sighs> Working through hard. <sighs> That's nice. Open, close, and up. Good. <sighs> it's very good. One more. <sighs> okay, we've got one more exercise, guys. We've been going for nearly 20 minutes. This one's difficult. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some options. So, hardest option. Full push-up position, okay? You're gonna hold your dumbbells like this, take a wider stance than you normally would. From there, renegade, row. Renegade, row. Okay, this is the hardest option. It's too hard. From here, kneeling. Rowing in. Okay, your core has to work here, as well as your upper body, okay? If it's too much with the weight, you'll just hold the plank. Three options, renegade, row. Off we go. So you see, I'm not rotating through my hips too much. I'm trying to keep everything square. And breathe. Good job, guys. Last exercise, let's push through. And row. And three. And two. And one. And burpees. Nah, I'm kidding. Okay, we're done. Good effort, short, sharp. I hope you enjoyed that. Let's go into our child's pose. We're just gonna quickly breathe there. So you can go to work or you can go to bed, whatever time it is you're doing this workout. So child's pose, down we go. Hips towards your bum, head down. Just take that moment for yourself now. I'm not gonna talk for the next minute. I just want you to be here. Breathe, don't think about what you need to do. Be grateful for where we are right now. Sometimes we only need just that minute, you know, to, to re re energize, to relax. Before we go into our days, let's go into our cobra, shoulder blades down.
Good, I hope you enjoyed that workout. Please give me some feedback, let me know once you've done it. Go to the group, check in with the group, tell us where you're at, give us an update, don't be afraid. The more vulnerable you are, the more this community grows, but most of all, you raise your standards. Okay, short workout completed today. I hope you enjoyed that, I definitely got a burn. So I hope to talk to you soon, but once again, thanks for doing the workouts and have a great day.